for that introduction you'll probably want to add if you're just starting out in your garden in the future is to introduce light there's nothing worse than enjoying working in your garden all day and then come dusk evening you just want to sit down and enjoy what you've what work you've achieved that day and enjoy the garden for how it's looking but if it's like our garden once it gets dark it's literally pitch black and you can't see very very much at all so we've slowly added lights in the garden over the last few years this is our little stone pagoda and the lid comes off you put a little tea light inside there and you have four holes which the tea candle light when it's dark emits light in each direction and lights the surrounding area of the pagoda it's very subtle this one because it's only small but you get different size pagodas and different size holes that emit the light so you can create a very natural effect by using pagodas. We also have eight of these Japanese style lanterns dotted around the garden. These are solar pa powered. Solar panels on the top. During the day it just charges up. Come dusk they automatically turn on. And they'll, they'll light for several hours through the night. These ones have a stained glass effect of a butterfly and flowers. Which, once it gets dark, lights up all sorts of lovely colour tones around the surrounding area. Just about two foot circumference. They're not extremely powerful, but they're very quite bright not as bright as spotlights but they are quite a nice nice ambient light around the lantern itself this year we've added eight of these little artificial rock spotlights just like the lanterns the solar powered the panels on the top charges through the day and come dusk again like the lamps they'll turn themselves on automatically and this one lights up this is a contifolium quite a lot of these leaves are highlighted and some of the the branching in the trunk it gives a very ghostly effect it's almost quite spooky really but we have eight of these lamps dotted around the garden. There's about six trees, the larger trees which are spotlighted, and a couple of the other lamps are spotlights and trunk, uh, tree trunks and a couple of the smaller trees. Instead of looking out from the house when it's dark, we can see quite a lot of the, the tree shapes and the leaves. highlighted and in the darkness this little one here spotlights the Osakasugi and these little two here highlight the the two smaller trees and the little bit of the Katsura at the back you can blend them in a lot better than this this is just temporary for now because it's nearly autumn and the end of the season you can blend them in into your bushes or behind rocks but anywhere that obviously the panels will get direct light the stronger sunlight they get the longer they'll burn through the night we have three along this side 
to pick out the the larger trees and the one in the middle highlights the tree trunk and those two little yes trees and some of the garnet on the top and again this this little spotlight highlights the the other big contifolium and you can get these relatively cheap be careful where you buy them because some places sell them very expensively compared to, to some other places you have to shop around basically you can get the same product project fairly cheap in one shop and somewhere else will be selling sometimes three four times the price elsewhere so shop around and you should get them in packs of four which helps save on prices of individually as well the lanterns here we we bought in UK for about six to seven pound each from some of the well-known pound shops little rock spotlights we've got this here from Tesco's they were in packs of four and they were about £12 on special offer I'm not sure if they were half price but it was about £12 for four and they're quite a quite a good size you have the battery compartment on the bottom which already comes with the battery you just turn it on during the day they get charged by the panel from the sun and at the night time they just illuminate well into the night for several hours this one's got a little bit of condensation inside but that should dry out over the winter and they look very natural it's only some sort of fiberglass I believe so you can blend them in with your other rocks in the garden or around bushes or behind logs, rocks, anything and uh, if you don't want them shown just make sure that the sun is in contact with them for most of the day you get a huge range of different styles and shapes of these artificial solar panelled solar powered lights but obviously you can get electricity ones as well so if you're handy with electricity and you want a more permanent option with spotlights controlled from the house with a flick of a switch that might be an option for you Obviously you have to bury cables and have circuit breakers and things like that. But these little cheap portable solar panel ones are ideal. And I think next year I'd like to add another eight of the, these little rocks which will double up and twice as much effect and twice as much light I tried to record the, the garden how the spotlight it up when it's dark but the video camera doesn't doesn't pick the, the contrast out well but honestly if you you haven't tried this try try it just one just buy it one cheap rock spot rock spotlight sorry charge it up for a, a good day then come at night time place it in front of a nice tree or a nice bush and see see if you like the effect it really does make the garden give it a totally different look when it's it's dark The best thing is you can sit back in the house or in your conservatory or even on the patio and you can, you can enjoy the garden instead of sit, not seeing nothing like we used to 
do you know we once it gets pitch black here it's you, you can't see anything now we get them three three sections spotlight a little bit it looks really nice so that's a, another landscape addition is the use of lights and it's something gives again absolute endless range of ideas you can use it along decking either panels along the decking spotlight your paths you get a lot that you can put on the fence and spotlight down you can get wall lights lanterns for the house to illuminate your patio and your paths and it's it gives a totally different dimension of creativity for your garden which you have to slowly get used to but once you start illuminating things you I think you just want to carry on until you get a really nice effect that you're happy with like you say we're just starting this year with these spotlights and it's, it's give a totally different scope to the garden so the future will be exciting in the garden with different lights in the future that we will we'll get anyway that's that's me gone on long enough about lights uh, thanks for watching